everybody. Um, I'm Roger Johnson from D&E Entertainment. And on behalf of the D&E family and the city of Chicago, we welcome you to the observation or the observance of Frankie Douglas Day. Frankie, we want you to know from the D and E family how much we are so extremely proud of you at this moment. Okay, and we're really, really proud of you. It's such an honor. Um, we would not all be here if it wasn't for someone who brought Frankie to us. Yeah. So at this time, I'd like to take a moment and call Robert Williams. Yeah. 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 Here. Robert. 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 Here you come. Come on, Robert. 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 Robert, we really thank you and appreciate you for doing that. For we sure do. Thanks, Bob. Woo! Thank you. I'm going to turn things over to a young lady who's going to MC the rest of this. So, can you move it? Uh, I'd like to introduce to you the host of CLTV's Metro Babies, the lovely and charming Miss Leanne Trotter. for a very important day in the city of Chicago. We are yes, the Okay, now we want to talk to you, Alderman Walter Burnett. 
for being that non-discriminatory type of new type of uh, DJ in the city of Chicago and bringing the love to the city. That way. But also, I like to thank Frankie for giving many, many other young people who have followed him the hopes and the dreams that they can grow up and they can be somebody with the music that their parents didn't like, with the music. With the music that people used to complain about, Frankie has actually given people hope. He's given people vision to want to stretch out. And not only here in Chicago, Frankie plays music all over the world. All over the world. About three years ago, I'm in Greece, and I go to a little uh, joint in Greece, and here they are playing house music in Greece. So I'd just like to thank Frankie Knuckles for giving people the opportunity to enjoy themselves. Just think of all of the people who used to come to his facilities, used to come to his uh, parties. Just think if they weren't there, how much trouble they probably would have been into if they were not partying with Frankie Noble. If they didn't have an, a constructive environment to have a good time and let themselves loose in. And i tell you something, unfortunately, our city is getting away from that. We're not giving our young people an outlet nowadays, and we need to get back to that. We need to let our young people have an opportunity to be able to dance, to be able to party, and to be able to enjoy themselves That's in right. the city. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. So, Frankie Knuckles, I want to thank you for the opportunity that you have given, not only myself, but many, many other people when we were young back then, back in the day, uh, an opportunity to dance, to have a good time, to get our clothes all sweaty, to push up on somebody else and talk to them. And, and then today, you know, we want to thank you very much and God bless you for your contribution to the city of Chicago and to all across this world, Frankie. Thank you. about Frankie Knuckles from my daughter, Tanya. And I want to tell you something. Last week, I had um, the opportunity to be interviewed and be on the radio from my office in London, England, That's about right. Frankie That's Knuckles. Right. And I was so proud to do that, Frankie. That's what I did for him last week. So, he is known all over the world. And your alderman, some of you, had a chance to do that for him. But right now, I want to read a resolution Resolution from the City of Chicago that we did, I think, on June 23rd, Walter and I. And it goes like this. Whereas Frankie Knuckles has made, are you ready to hear all of this? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Oh, well, I gotta listen to my boss back here again. Okay. I'm gonna read it anyway. Whereas Frankie Knuckles has made defining contributions to the music industry for more than 30 years, and has been dubbed by his peers and adoring fans the godfather of house. And whereas Frankie Knuckles began his studies in commercial art and costume design and ultimately realized his true calling and talent was spinning records, at which time he began forming at various legendary venues in New York City. And whereas Frankie relocated to the great city of Chicago, in 1977, oh, you came around the time I came, Good. and established his mark as he began to engage in the foundation of the new musical form known as house music, and became the first DJ for the warehouse and after hours nightclub, where house music derived its name. And whereas Frankie Knuckles moved into the recording studio where his production and remixing skills excelled, in which allowed him to produce and remix songs for noted artists that included Diana Ross, uh -oh. Luther Vandross, Michael Bolden, Mary J. Blige, The Sounds of Blackness, Michael Jackson, Tony Braxton, Janet Jackson, The Pet Shop Boys, and many others. Now all of you ought to know that. <laughs> and whereas Frankie Knuckles served as the governor and trustee for the New York City chapter of the National Academy of Record Arts and Sciences, Science, and whereas Frankie expanded talents as an artist, allowed him to release two albums, Beyond the Mix and Welcome to the Real World, on the Virgin Records and label. 
Whereas Frankie Knuckles was inducted in the city of Chicago's Gay and Lesbian Hall of Fame in 1996 and has devoted his time in various AIDS charities as well as being a force in the community. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the mayor and members of the city council of the city of Chicago, do hereby designate August 25th, 2004 as Frankie Knuckles Day in Chicago and encourage all citizens to celebrate with this pioneer of house music and hereby extend our best wishes for his continued success in the music industry and be it further resolved that a suitable copy of this resolution be presented to Frankie Knuckles. This is by Richard M. Dare. Richard M. Daly. James J. Lasky, City Council. Well, um, this actually used to be my ward. Now it's Madeline Hitchcock's ward, but we still still um, share these areas and we work very closely together. And we work very closely on uh, trying to do these things for Frankie, along with Randy Crumpton and uh, State Rep Ken Duncan and Barack Obama, because we thought it was very <laughs> special. And uh, one of the things I usually say at a sign dedication. Um, and in this instance, I'm going to say it for Alderman Madeline Hitchcock. By the power invested in her, by the thousands of people in her ward, yes. and the citizens of the city of Chicago, we now therefore dedicate this this section of Jefferson Street. Uh, mentorees, his, uh, his disciples. 
and here's what she's had to say. Frankie Knuckles is more than just an artist. He's a Chicago legend. He has an ability to weave magic with his music, a magic that captures people's minds, hearts, and creative spirit. Through his magic, Frankie has built an international culture of inclusion and the celebration of life and spirituality. It's no wonder why he is so revered, because the music Frankie creates is a reflection of his warm and generous spirit. In Frankie Knuckles, Chicago's gay and lesbian audiences help to nurture a talent with seemingly boundless potential. He has repaid them by providing countless hours of self-affirming musical involvement, by remaining accessible, by lifting up the people around him, and by his continuing support for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender communities around the world. Thank you, Frankie, for everything you've done. You. As far as elected officials and yeah. recognizing, which took a long time to recognize, Mr. Frankie Knuckles. Yeah. At 18, uh, instead of going to my prom, I went to a warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> I was at the warehouse. Okay, I was at the warehouse. My boss, State Representative Howard, uh, basically wanted me to say, as a member of the state of Illinois, House of Representatives, yes. 93rd General yeah. Assembly. I am pleased to take this opportunity to congratulate Frankie Knuckles, the godfather of house music, on the occasion of Chicago Mayor Richard M. Daly proclaiming that August 25, 2004 is Frankie Knuckles Day, okay. and Jefferson Street between Van Buren and Adams being named Frankie Knuckles Way. And my staff, myself, Michael O'Connor, and I joined with Second Ward Alderman Madeline Hedgecock, Frankie's family, friends, and community, and other citizens of the city of Chicago and state of Illinois in wishing him continued good health, ongoing success in the music or entertainment world. Um, I think it should be also noted that Frankie Knuckles in the warehouse in U.S. Studios gave a safe place for people who were turned out of other areas before it was transitioned to me. So I want people to understand the importance of that. Not only was he a a, a creative genius in terms of music. He was also one of the pioneers that tried to put Chicagoans, regardless of race, creed, color, or sexual orientation, together in one place to have a good time. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we're about to close this thing out. Come on over here, Frederick. I'm, I'm motioning you over here. But, but, but before we do, let's give another big round of applause for Mr. Frankie Knuckles. Before we do that, we forgot to unveil the sign. Okay. <laughs>
Hi, this is Frankie Knuckles and you're watching Groove Parlor TV.